<laughs> George, when we get him close, you gotta take the planter off. The other day I saw one of the most impressive things that I've ever seen. I got the opportunity to be on RJ Boyle's boat, the Lisa B, and got to witness Cody, his first mate, set up the, the planer spread and all five lines for Wahoo fishing. Guys, how long do you think it takes a professional mate to set up five lines and get trolling, get fishing for Wahoo? Uh, Guys, check this out, it's impressive. In 27 seconds, buddy. This is a machine right here. I got the wind on leader happening. Bam. Alright, so it's been a minute and 40 seconds. We got three baits out, including two planers in a minute and 40 seconds. I like that. I like that. Samuel, you ready to fish? Yeah? Here we go, dude. We're fishing. Okay. Number four. That five, five out. Yeah. Three minutes and twenty-two seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Three minutes and twenty-two seconds for five baits out. Is that a good time? On the Lisa B, we're looking for someone to do it under three minutes. Under the. <laughs> so we're gonna have to have a talk. We're gonna have to have a talk with them. <laughs> under three minutes, bro. Under three. If I can probably make that happen. <laughs> okay. Hey, watch your lip fans. It's David Fine here. In today's video, guys, we are gonna be outside of my element. I grew up an onshore fisherman. You know, I've been offshore a few times, but mostly beach fishing, onshore, piers, bridges, intracoastal, freshwater, that kind of stuff. And when I would get offshore, it was a treat. So to go out and target Wahoo, which was actually something that I've never actually gone out saying, today I'm gonna go out and try and catch a Wahoo, uh, was something I've never done before. So in order to be successful, guys, there are some very specific tips and tricks and things that people have learned and developed in order to hunt this incredible uh, tasty fish. And so uh, I went down to RJ Boyle's studio and guys, RJ is a world renowned uh, sword fisherman and offshore uh, specialist. And not only does him and his guys know their stuff, but they are also truly hospitable and they wanna help people learn how to catch fish on their own. And so what we did is I took my two old school Penn Senator, or I got a Penn Senator and a 9 uh Daiwa, and I took them in there and I said, guys, I wanna catch Wahoo. And so please rig these up for me. And what I did is I spent about two hours in there and it was one of, probably the most fruitful two hours that I've spent uh, as some other guys in RJ's shop kind of walked me through the entire thing and set me up to catch Wahoo. And then we went out, did exactly what they told us to do. And we scored on my very first time. So as of right now, I'm I'm 100% on Wahoo. I'm one for one on Wahoo trips. Special thanks to RJ Boyle's studio. So guys, the link for RJ's shop is gonna be in the description below, uh, social media. Uh, he even does rap music, amazing guy. But uh, just, I just wanted to say special thank you because I went out for my birthday and caught actually my very first Wahoo. And uh, check out this video as a sort of a tutorial 
as RJ's crew shows me how to set up my 9-0 combos for planar trolling for Wahoo. So, what so now, what, what is this called? Okay, it's, it's a, a planar bridle. Planar so, bridle. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this to your braid. Okay. On the other end, we're gonna put about 60 feet of 80 pound test. Okay. What we call a, a shock leader. Shock leader. Shock cord, shock leader. Okay. So if you imagine the braids going this way, shock cords this way, you're gonna take your planer and hook, hook it up to the snap swivels here. All right? Yeah. Now the head of the planer with the lead goes goes forward towards okay. the braid. You're gonna hook that on. Your planer's gonna hang. So th this is gonna have give, it's, right? It's it's actually gonna have a little bit of slack. A little bit of slack. Here, okay. Okay. Because the, the planer is gonna be taken all. Here, let me let me grab my planer real quick. Yep. So this stays on the line. Yes. This winds right on. That's right. That's the, that's the wind on. That's the wind, the wind on. Wind on planer. Got it. And this and this special clip here. So wait. So so this clip stays on the planer, and so does that clip. Yes. That's right. Okay. okay. And then you just... Uh, so, you know, the boat's that way, okay? Yep. Fish gets we're, we're, on. We're trolling this way. Yep. Fish gets on, trips the planer. Okay, now you got a fish on. Okay. Your rod tip is going to be laid over with the planer. When you get a hit, it's going to go up. Yep. And then it's going to go back down, and it's going to start wiggling with the, with the fish. Yep. Okay. You reel it up like you normally would. When you get this to the rod tip, right before the rod tip, you can just, you're just going to take your planer off. That's it. And now you scrape to the fish. Now you wind in. And the you fish. wind the fish in you like normal. And this up. can go like in a bucket or something. Just yeah. put that in a bucket and you're done. Right. Exactly. That's awesome. Lorenzo, did you get that? Wind on, baby. Wind on. We're going to do this on Friday. Come on, baby. Wind on leader directly onto our pen center. Here we go, baby. So now we've got shock leader going, and what what pound test is that? It's 80. 80. So we got 80 braid, wind on leader, 80 shock leader. How, how many yards is the shock leader are we putting on? We're gonna put uh, 60. 60? 60. 60? 60 yards? 50 feet. 60 feet. Okay, got it. Okay, talk to me about this. What do we got? Okay. You can make you can make a small hole up In at the, the bonita strip. up at the head of the bonita. Here's the bonita strip here, right? Yeah. Make a hole in the bonita strip with the point of the hook with the point of the hook okay and then take your wire pass it through through the bonita strip yeah right and bend this wire over and then you can go through through the, the eye, of the, eye of, the, of the hook and then the, the and bonita the, strip stays on there and then maybe turn it you know uh, you know, turn it down. Yeah, wrap it wrap yeah. around once. Yeah. Just to keep it air, aerodynamic. Yeah. And, and then um, you, it's almost like rigging a worm for bass, right? Exactly. Kind of and the then same, you take, same take your hook and you gotta, you got to measure where it's going to lay flat. Yeah. And figure out where, where, that, where this hook has to go through so it comes out of the strip right here. Got it. And the, the strip lays flat along the shank of the hook. Okay. And this sticks out. Okay. Obviously. You know, and then what is that, like a 10 -o? Over the strip. Yeah, I believe this is a 10 -o, yeah. And there's no wire on this rig, is that correct? That's okay. just a, a fluorocarbon leader? Yeah, it's, it's fluorocarbon. With a sea witch? Yeah. A little, sea witch little squiddy little, underneath there? A little squid skirt under there. Okay. You know? All right. Usually what they're doing is, and sometimes you even get a cut off they usually hit towards the tail of the bait, and they that's do. why you don't get cut off. So Got it. Much, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Every and now this, this swivel life. also winds on, or or no? Yeah, I'm gonna. That's why I wanna I wanna put this on your your rod. We'll right put it now. right on. We're gonna put it on right now. It's gonna be all ready to roll. It's gonna be ready to roll. We just gotta yeah. slap a, a strip on it and Abs we're going. Absolutely. Awesome. And now, are, do we leave the swivel on or do we splice it? No, we're gonna leave the swivel. The swivel on. stays on. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's a 60 pound? This is 60 pound floral. 60 yeah. pound floral. Yeah. Got it. Bam. All right, let's see. So this swivel, just this swivel just goes, will go right up in that guy. It goes right in. Got it, okay. So now we just roll it, roll with it. And this thing is ready to fish. Look at that. Ready to roll. One down, one to go. Lorenzo, yeah. come here. You see how we do this? Yeah, you make a little tiny hole, not all the way through though, not all the way through. Just enough to get the... Uh, Just enough, and then get the wire out, and I'll put it through the wire. There we go, now twist it. He said you can twist it, yeah, there you go. Can you get those strips like that, all right? Yep, or... You catch a bonita and you make it your own. And then you just put it through. Right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It has to be. Perfect. It has to be. Perfect. Has right to be perfect. where the thing is out coming out here, so it's right. And you messed it up. <laughs> well. Let's see. No, it, it might. It's too small. No. Oh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Good job, Dad. So it's just part of the skin, basically. It's, it is the skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's a real piece of fish? Yeah. yeah. Bonita strip. Not the wire. I'll show you. Oh. Uh, hand me that other big rod. Oh, yeah, they're nice. Oh, sorry, here it is. Okay, so about a half inch down, you make a little hole. There's a piece of wire up here. Put the wire through. Did you twist it? Almost. This is easy fishing right here, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like a worm. And then this thing, this thing does this. The fish at the Wahoo bites that, not like a live fish. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like just well, plastic Well, I hope it does bite that. All right, so this will be the long line. All right, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. All right, so first thing, We've got, Ow. yep, sharp hook. sharp hook. We've got our strip set up. Put the yep, take the clicker off. There you go. And I'm gonna get the small one. The weight goes first. Here, there you go. All right. Hold on. Come on, baby. That's a big, heavy reel, isn't it? Yeah, it's heavy. And it's beautiful. Heavy and beautiful. All right, this will be my first time actually putting a wind-on leader. All right. Got it. Mistake number one. Mistake number one. Not when you find the fish. Woo! Woo! Just make sure if you fall over, you don't drop my rod. I'll throw the rod in. I'll throw the rod in the boat. All right. 
Try again. There it goes. Woo! That was easy. Put it in the rod holder. Put it in the rod holder. Okay, that one's ready to go. All right, number two. You want to put a skirt on there? All right, buddy, number two. Yep, yep. Number two, get my senator out. I'm on there. There you go. Nine oh coming at you. Nine oh coming empty. Come on, baby. Wind on. Hey, that's easy. Okay. Hold on to it, son. In fact, you could probably put it on the put it in the rod holder. Good. We're fishing. We're fishing. We're fishing, boys. Here we go. All right, guys. What we're looking for? The rod is bent over like that. We're looking for it to pop up, like it's gonna pop up, and then go back down. Because <laughs> when it pops up, when something hits it, it takes the the planer off a plane, and that the, all the tension is gonna be gone. But then when the fish, when the tension from the way the fish hits. If that's when it starts taking drag. It's gonna be exciting. Here we go. Hey, uh, give me the uh, belt. Yeah, we got fish on, guys. Hey, uh, Lorenzo. Film. Keep it in gear. What an honor this is. I get to put that belt on. You get to put the belt on me, George. He's, he's pulling. Come on, baby. We're going to need to get somebody with a gas. George, when we get him close, you got to take the planer off. Come on. Oh, he wants to pull now. Oh yeah. What do we got? Stingray. Stingray. It's a wahoo. It's a wahoo. Film broke the film. This is magical. All right, watch your feet, watch your feet, guys. Oh. Wahoo in the boat! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! Here, Yeah! Yeah! Guys, hey, 
Special thanks to RJ Boyle. Yeah. Because uh, his boys set us up. We came out here. Special thanks to my boys over here. Woo. Captain Bob, Cat Bob. Woo. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, you should have watched your lip walk. Woo! I'm not kissing him, though. <laughs> and guys, there you have it. We got our Wahoo. We I had some amazing sashimi. My, my, I'm so blessed and over. I can't tell you what an amazing, fulfilling feeling it is to actually go out and, and say, I'm gonna go out and target Wahoo. I've never caught one before. I've never, it's a very tricky thing to get and actually go out and be successful in my very first shot and my very first attempt. And it's all thanks to RJ and his crew. And so I just wanna say special thanks to them. Go visit them in their shop and just let them know what you're looking for and they are gonna help pick you up big time just like they did me. So uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something about Wahoo fishing and setting up for Wahoo. Uh, I had a great time. So God bless, take care. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Guys, let's get out there and catch some Wahoo. Take care, bye now.